Hi, my name is David. My company is Three Tree Home Performance. Uh, we are a uh, energy efficiency contractor, uh, doing a uh, wide range of, of uh, projects for uh, high performance and super insulated homes. Uh, everything from uh, new construction renovations, uh, ventilation systems, and insulation of, of uh, all kinds. This is the Smart Wood Shop, and today we're going to get a tour from David Powers, owner of Three Tree Home Performance. And the cameraman, his son Hollis, seven years old, is going to follow him around and show us exactly what his dad does and how he runs his business. So buckle up and get ready for the ride. This is, uh, my cameraman, my son Hollis. Why don't you say hi, Hollis? Hi. Hollis is seven and, uh, and uh, he's doing a great job. So I'm gonna give you a walk through and show you uh, our, our trucks and trailers and um, kind of so you can see our workflow we don't have a centralized shop we work out of uh, trailers and uh, keep everything mobile and as you'll see you'll recognize a lot of the built-ins in these trailers are all uh, Ron Paul inspired uh, designs we have a three-quarter ton service body truck uh, for pulling trailers uh, the service body is pretty key for uh, smaller jobs and running around and having the tools that we need without having to load equipment in and out of uh, the bed of a truck. For many years we used a half ton truck. Trailers over the years have gotten heavier and I found that uh, it felt unsafe in a half ton truck. The trailers did a lot of pushing as it, uh, so we have upgraded to three quarter ton and that feels much safer on the roads with a uh, heavy trailer. And we use this truck for primarily uh, insulation projects and weatherization jobs. Um, and in the winter time, uh, when the road conditions are good for pulling a trailer, we use this for the carpentry work also. We'll load it with more woodworking tools than it has now. Starting at the back here, we've got uh, different dense pack hoses of, of various sizes tucked in here. Um, rigid and flexible pipes. And uh, we've got saw horses and saw stand. Um, here's our hose reel for our insulation hose. Uh, extension cords running to the machine, compressor. Uh, we've got uh, a bank of drawers here for storage of materials and tools and then tool cubbies all along the top here. The drawers are uh, hot swappable where we can just move them into the tool trailer and back and forth. So that's why you see some blank spots in both and uh, there's tools and stuff are, are spread out between all of them and we have uh, some, some stuff on other jobs right now. Uh, typically we have a insulation machine here uh, which is currently on a job. That way, on the larger projects like double wall construction and, and deep cavities, we use a two machine system, one for pre-fill, one for uh, dense packing, uh, so we can run two, two machines at one time. Um, we always keep a compact table saw and a seven and a quarter inch um, battery operated uh, miter saw in here. We've got our InsaWeb and our smart fabrics here, uh, so, uh, extension cords, air hoses. We always keep several tanks of one part foam with a, with a gun on the end for air sealing. We do a lot of uh, attic work and for air sealing the attic floor we found those are the best. Our largest trailer which is currently just storage. Tool trailer, I always keep a trash can on the side here ready to, to pull out. And as we walk by the side door, we've got our bank of uh, nails and screws and shelves here for easy access. Level storage, uh, long drawers for clamps uh, on the top and wrecking bars on the, on the bottom. A uh, little cubby for uh, an extendable plank, miter saw stand, uh, drawers full of uh, tools and uh, it's some uh, nails and screws. And we've got our same system as the truck for cubbies uh, for all of our um, power tools, batteries, uh, solvents. A larger table saw here, Capex for finish work, uh, Milwaukee for uh, framing work. Uh, power planer on the bottom, more drawers. We usually have uh, three vacuums right here. Festival Mini on the top and a CT30 or 33 in the in the middle and a large shop back on the bottom. They're currently spread out on other projects. Paint supplies, which is sometimes in here, sometimes not. Ladders get tucked up front along with a tr uh, transit tripod, a pop-up tent for rainy days, and uh, vacuum hoses. Our ventilation trailer, we install a lot of uh, HRV and ERV ventilation systems. We stock uh, uh, five foot pipe 
um, of all different sizes and round and oval and then and then just a, a lot of fittings so when we arrive on a job we would have just about any fitting that we could possibly need for an install uh, saves a lot of time sheet metal brake tucked in the bottom staging trailer so on large jobs this is always parked uh, at the job um, for material storage and staging we rely a lot on staging um, so we have quite a bit of it that we have set up we currently have none in this trailer. It is uh, being stored at a different location right now. A lot of times on new construction, we're there working before there's power on site. So we run off of uh, off the generator. We just roll it out onto this door and, and work off of that. And then uh, here is usually packed full of, of staging. Um, but right now we've got uh, a lot of material for an upcoming ventilation job that right now hasn't been um, process just kind of sitting here and waiting to distribute it into uh, the other trailers or bring it to the job site um, over here we've got all of our cross braces um, miter saw stand um, a stack of staging planks and then uh, currently just a lot of material storage uh, in this trailer and on a typical project this is uh, usually um, full of, of materials uh, for that specific project uh, under lock and key um, so, uh, so there you go. There's a little glimpse at uh, kind of our system and uh, uh, hope you can pick up some ideas from, from our workflow. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, be safe. Hi, David. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to share your job trailers, how you work and your workflow and what you do with us. While we're stuck at home, it's nice that we can uh, kind of dig in and find out how other people are working and maybe pick up a couple of tips that we can uh, apply to our workflow. I think it's really interesting how you work with uh, no fixed base shop. Almost every um, uh, 10 bender, we like to call them around here, people that put in uh, HVA systems, they usually have big shops and big machines and it's really interesting to see how you're able to even get a job like that with high space demands in just a few trailers. I'm sure it's great to uh, be able to keep working on the job and not have to go back to the shop to uh, bend metal or do things, but have what you need on the job and help you move from job to job a lot quicker. I'm sure it also allows you to give more value to your clients as well. I'll provide a link in the description of this video down below to uh, David's website so you can go check him out and uh, take a little closer look at what he does. Well, if you like these videos from you, be sure to uh, give this video, give David a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you'll know when I put up a new video. And if you want to share a video, a tip, can be even something very small or very elaborate, it doesn't really matter. Uh, may, take your video, you can do it with your smartphone, just do it horizontally so it fits the perspective of YouTube. And then um, put it up on Dropbox or uh, Google Drive or iCloud or one of those and then just share it with me at crpalk at msn.com. And then I will be able to download it. I'll edit it up and get it up so that everybody else can see what you're doing. If you wanna see what we're doing, you can jump over to the smartwoodshop.com where you'll find a link to any and all of my plans and where you can order them and they will, uh, within minutes, you'll get a download link right on a receipt from us and you can download it and get in the shop and use this time to, to uh, make your workflow a little more efficient or build yourself that bench you've been wanting for a long time. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. Have a great day.